today we're talking about the affirmative one common menus you can earn in Fate Update Point One. What to watch out for, what's worth grabbing. First up, the five star manuals cost 300 affirmer each. This month we have Naomi with two tier four skills, speed and res bond four grants plus seven speed and res, and neutralizes speed and res debuffs, but you gotta be right next to an ally. There is no speed and res unity, so this is the option if you want to counteract those debuffs. Speed and res bond three is on four star Young Azura or Tethys. As for joint drive res, plus four res for allies within two spaces, and same for the user. Drive res two is on units linked to Layer Saul. Joint drive res is pretty universal for any unit or build. Spin res bond four is a little more niche. Luckily, it's not too hard to get both tier four skills, and you can snag Moonbow if you have extra room. Personally, I'm grabbing Navy for the free merge. Plus five. Woo. Next up is seasonal four star focus Pledge and Raphael. He has Smite Attack Smoke three for some common skills. On the rarer side, Odd Follow-Up 3 is an armor-only B skill that grants Omnibreaker, but only on odd number turns. The main reason to run this skill is that you can get a player phase follow-up attack sometimes. Otherwise, most armors will just go with Ventral Fighter, which is now on two free-to-play units. We don't have free-to-play Bold Fighter yet, but there's a Sacred Seal. Perhaps we get Odd or even Follow-Up 4, but not sure most players are going to want to deal with the inconsistency. Now, Raphael's other skill is his Pledge and Bow Plus. If solo, inflict attack and demons debuffs in combat equal to 5, plus any current penalty on each of those stats. There is no Vulture type bow yet, so this is the only bow of its kind. Pledge isn't that bad, but you need to be alone, and it's only attack and demons debuffs that are getting doubled in combat. It can be fun with sabotage or faux penalty doubler statuses. Raphael has some rarer skills, but we have some other strong free to play bows around, and odd follow up is kind of just eh. Moving on to the 4 star manuals, these cost 100 Ephemer each. Summer Donna is back as the returning Tempest unit. At 4 stars you can get a Respectful Aid or Attack and Demons Form 3. At 5 stars you can get Chill Deep Thrones 2, which is the easiest way to get this dual chill. Donna's weapon is the Wooden Tackle plus Axe. If above 25% HP, you get plus 5 attack and defense, inflict attack and defense deals based on 25% of your HP, and then restore 10 HP after battle. The max debuff amount you can get is minus 10 attack and defense, and you need to start combat above 40 HP. Easy for that first battle, just gotta be careful as you take hits in longer fights. Very easy to use weapon, honestly not that bad, but most users probably gonna wanna pair it with some kind of follow up skill. Next, our most recent demote is Ete, we're just about at the anniversary of Engage. In the past year, there's been a few other demoted infantry archers introduced. Dorothy outdoes Ete in offensive stats, Will has good attack and runs, and Kiragi has good speed and defense. Ete has great attack, decent speed, and a balanced defense run spread. I'll be grabbing one for my own merge project. Skill-wise, Ete has Draconic Aura and Attack and Defense Gap 3. This uh, gap skill is also on Flame Mordecai, but at 5 stars. If you use Feathers on Ete, she has Attack and Defense Ideal 3, which is on a lot of other free-to-play units. Her Inheritable Weapon is the Protection Bow Plus. If near your allies, you get plus 5 Attack and Defense and Guard. Technically upgraded range from Winter Felix's Reindeer Bow, but the same effect. Our next menu is for Ferdinand Von Iyer. Just got his Refined if you want a free merge. At 4 stars, Freddy has the best go in the game, Reposition. He also has Fortress Defense 3. At 5 stars, you can get the Vanguard Plus Lance, which is a uh, okay. Freddy also has Rouse Speed and Defense 3, and it's the easiest way to get it. Rouse Speed and Defense 4 is alright, but Noah has uh, brought in Alarm Speed and Defense, which is quite fun if you want Kanto. For Python, at 4 stars, you can get the always useful Moonbow Special and the more niche Blue Tone Breaker. At 5 stars, you can get Steady Blow 2, and Python's the easiest way to get it. His weapon is the Sharp Bow Plus, which is just plus 10 true damage on Special Trigger. I'm kind of surprised the Will Dao type weapon effects never really got added to newer Inheritables. Last up for today is Kagado. At 4 stars, you can get Reprisal and Dagger Breaker 3. Reminder Dagger Breaker only works against Colorless Daggers. At Fire Stars, you can get Warding Blow 3 if you want it for some reason, and at least somewhat interesting, the Poison Dagger. Effective against infantry, but with a still hilarious 5 might. The devs don't really want to touch this weapon again, but if you do want infantry affecting this, you can try to get Legendary or Summer Female Shares. That'll be it for this month's Ephemer Comment Manuals. Not the most insane month for general skills you will find on the build, but a couple niches. Personally though, excellent batch for me because I'm just getting extra merges from my name in Etier. Raphael could be a Dark Horse pick if for some reason we get an insanely strong odd follow-up 4 skill. Sermodano is nice to grab since technically you're going to save on Heroic Growls if you use him. That'll be it for this month's Ephemera 1 comment manuals. Don't forget to use last month's Ephemera. We did get a lot of Ephemera 12. Thank you for watching. Go grab that Ephemera and I will see you guys in the next video.